Nation. I hope everyone's having a great time celebrating the special day of these two lovebirds. Um, so when I first sat down to think about what I wanted to say here tonight, I kept thinking to myself, man, I can't believe Nina's getting married in less than an hour. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wrote this speech at breakfast. Don't worry. <laughs> Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Marissa, and I'm lucky to be Nina's maid of honor. Though my last name isn't Trung, I've always considered myself part of the Trung family. And that's not only because Nina is my best friend, but also because since the day we met over 10 years ago, Nina's mom and dad have always generously and warmly welcomed me into the family. From inviting me on family trips to giving me advice at <laughs> At the Bar of Bamboo, they've always made me feel loved and safe and welcomed. So Nina's mom and dad, thank you for letting me into your lives. Thank you for giving me my best friend. And on behalf of everyone here, thank you for this incredible day. I'll never forget the day Nina and Patrick first met and she was telling me all about this amazing guy and how he was so cute and funny and attractive. Honestly, I have no idea what happened to that guy, but Patrick, you're okay too. Now Patrick, there's something I have to tell you and all of that was, on all of this was all preordained. Because when Nina and I were little girls planning our dream wedding, because obviously when you're 15 and you only have 10 years, you need to get a head start. <laughs> but the one thing we didn't plan in all of those sleepover chats was exactly who the groom was going to be. We'd speculate what he'd look like, how tall he'd be, if he was or was not a member of NSYNC. And but as all the years went on and after all those years of speculating, turned into hoping that my best friend would end up with the best guy. I hope Nina would find someone at least half as loving and loyal as her. I hope she would find someone that would let her shine. I hope she'd find someone that would recognize there's truly no one else in the world quite like her. <laughs> and during all those years and all those sleepover chats, I may not have known it yet, but I was hoping for you. You're all the things I hope for my best friend and more, and I'm so grateful she found you and you love her the way she really deserves. So now's the point I'm supposed to tell some embarrassing stories about Nina. But after careful consideration, I realized that Nina has a lot more dirt on me than I have on her, so we're going to skip that part. Nina would do anything for a friend. She's been there for me time and time again. She's been there with me at my best and helped me through my worst. I can count on her for anything, whether it's for advice or a, body, or a bodyguard running away from boys at the club. I'm truly blessed to have such an amazing person to call my best friend. Nina is one of the most loving, caring, loyal, brave, and all around beautiful person inside and out that I've ever met. I can honestly say I don't know where I'd be without her. So I'd like to make a toast here tonight. So if everyone could please raise their glass. Here's to love, laughter. Woo! Here's, here's to love, laughter, and happily ever after to Mr. and Mrs. Mercado. Okay, big hand to Marisa again, she's crying. All right, now I would like to uh, give it a uh, turnover to uh, Nick Ingle, the best man. Now it's your toast and your speech. Hello everyone. I appreciate everybody for being here for uh, Nina and Patrick. Um, awesome. 
You guys keep doing that the entire time. It makes it seem like I didn't do anything. Woo! So a year ago, they asked me to be the best man at this wedding. And I thought to myself, and I even told my wife, Manina, I said, they're out of their minds. Are they absolutely crazy? They're definitely going to pay for this one. Because I get to stand up here and hold the mic. And all you guys get to listen to me talk buffoonery up here. But instead of uh, going absolutely crazy, I actually wrote a speech. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I was going to be on time and make sure everybody was here and make sure that I had something good to say. So, so to Patrick and Nina, uh, and Nina uh, a, a word that I don't use very often is teammate, right? Teammate is something I take very serious, right? In my line of work, teammate is a word that is life or death. And so when I look at Nina and Patrick, I see teammates. And, and, and if any of you guys know them, boy, listen up. Yeah, so if any of you guys know Patrick and Nina, you know them as not only teammates, but soulmates, right? They spend all their time at the gym together. It's really good, right? But teammate, what is a teammate? A teammate is a term used between more than one person who has a a goal that they're trying to accomplish together, right? And so for these two, their goal is to win in life, to be happy, right? They're to live happily ever after. This is the dream, right? So uh, the way I look at it is life is a game, and you guys are specializing in the art of love. You two are here to build each other up. Where one of you is lacking, the other one is going to help the other out. You guys are going to learn from each other. You're going to teach each other from what each other is good at. It's going to be a long haul, but you guys are going to become one in all. You're going to be part of a team. You're teammates. And um, never let your teammate down. You guys are going to pick each other up. When you feel like you're losing the game, you guys look forward to the end of goal. And you guys work together. The entire time, all the way through, thick or thin. And you guys make sure that you reach that goal happily ever after. That's what you're looking for, right? And while you guys are doing that, I, I know that you're going to make it there. Um, I'm going to be standing on the sidelines. I'm going to be cheering you on. Uh, I think that you guys will win the game. And when you look out here, look at all these people out here. Everybody, raise your hands, right? This is your biggest fans. These are your fans in the game of life. These are the people who are going to cheer you on as you guys make it happily ever after. So with that, I'd like everybody to raise your glass and give a toast to the bride and the groom to happily ever after. Cheers, Patrick and Nina.